हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आई एग्जाम बी प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन अदिति योर इकोनॉमिक्स फैकल्टी एट आई एग्जाम बी एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल प्रैक्टिस सम क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू इकोनॉमिक्स व्हिच विल बी हेल्पफुल फॉर योर अपकमिंग आर बी आई ग्रेड बी डी वी आर एग्जामिनेशन सो बिफोर वी मूव टू द क्वेश्चन आई वुड लाइक टू इन्फॉर्म यू दैट इन केस यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन अटेम्प्टिंग अ फ्री मॉक टेस्ट दैट वी प्रोवाइड ऑन आर वेबसाइट यू कैन गो टू द होम पेज अंडर फ्री मॉक टेस्ट अंडर आर बी आई ग्रेड बी मॉक टेस्ट एंड अंडर दैट आर बी आई ग्रेड बी डी पी आर फ्री मॉक टेस्ट यू विल फाइंड द फ्री मॉक टेस्ट विच यू कैन अटेम्प्ट फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट सो दैट यू नो वॉट इज द लेवल ऑफ योर करेंट प्रिपरेशन एंड इन केस यू नीड एनी काइंड ऑफ गाइडेंस यू कैन कॉन्टैक्ट अस सो नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस द क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन रीड्स दैट एनी स्ट्रेट लाइन सप्लाई कर्व दैट इंटरसेक्स द वर्टिकल एक्सेस अब द ओरिजिन हैज एन इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ सप्लाई इक्वल टू वॉट द ऑप्शन आर वन ग्रेटर दैन वन स्मॉलर दैन वन जीरो और देर इज इनसफिशियंट इन्फॉर्मेशन टू असेट इन द वैल्यू ऑफ द सप्लाई कर्व नाउ इन ऑर्डर टू सॉल्व सच क्वेश्चन लेट्स लुक एट द डायग्राम ऑफ द सप्लाई कर्व सो दिस पर्टिकुलर सप्लाई कर्व looks like this on the vertical axis we plot prices on the horizontal axis we plot quantity supplied because we, because we are talking about the supply curve so here it's mentioned the question that uh, it intersects the vertical axis above the origin so the supply curve looks like this it intersects the vertical axis above origin and this is the supply curve now we have to find out what is the elasticity of such a curve now in order to do that first let's understand what elasticity is and what is a slope of a curve and how what is the relationship between the two so elasticity gives us the percentage change in quantity supplied with respect to percentage change in price whereas slope gives us the absolute change it is given by del p upon del q in our particular diagram because prices are plotted on the y axis so the general form to find out slope is del y upon del x so substituting the value of change in prices and quantity we can find out the slope now the major distinction between the two is that uh slope is affected by the unit of measurement whereas elasticity is not affected by the unit of measurement because it measures the percentage change whereas slope measures the absolute change now we have to find out the elasticity for this particular function so if i expand this particular equation elasticity of supply can be written as q1 minus q0 upon q0 times 100 this is the percentage change in quantity supplied upon p1 minus p0 upon p0 into 100 this is the percentage change in price so in order to calculate percentage change of any figure we do final minus initial upon initial into 100 so applying that logic we have this particular formula now 100 will cancel out here so if we rearrange these terms we will have del q upon del p times p0 upon q0 as the elasticity of supply because uh, here q1 minus q0 is written as a change in the quantity and p1 minus p0 is written as a change in prices and also the slope is del p upon del q so from here we know that we can write this this is the inverse of the slope so elasticity of supply can be written as 1 upon slope times p0 upon q0 right now the general form of a supply curve can be written in terms of equation like this q is equal to a plus bp and if we rearrange the term in terms of prices we have p is equal to q minus a upon b so from here we can easily see the slope of this particular function is 1 upon b which is the coefficient of q here this means that elasticity of supply will be equal to the reciprocal of slope which is b times p upon q now this can be rewritten as b times p upon 
substituting the value of q here a plus b p which is equal to b p upon a plus b a plus b p so this particular value whether it will be greater than 1 less than 1 or equal to 0 will depend upon the value of a okay so if if a is less than 0 this means what this means that the y intercept which is equal to minus a upon b here right y intercept is equal to minus a upon b if a is negative this y intercept will be a positive value so this means if it's a positive value it will be cutting the y axis above the origin and if it's cutting the y axis above the origin this means that from the equation of elasticity we can easily see that if a is less than 0 that means then the denominator is less than the numerator so the value of elasticity of supply will be greater than 1 and similarly you can see if a is greater than 0 then the y intercept will be a negative number and so the supply curve will be cutting the horizontal axis and for that particular supply curve elasticity of supply will be less than 1 because if it's greater than 0 then the denominator is greater than the numerator and the whole value will be less than 1 and if a is equal to 0 that means it is there is no intercept term and it is originating from the origin okay then in such a case the numerator and the denominator both become equal bp is equal to bp the same value and elasticity of supply will be equal to 1 for those functions so this is how we find out the elasticity of supply if you are interested in solving more such questions and practicing some more questions you can visit our website and, and attempt the free mock test that is available and if you are interested in further guidance we also provide a complete course for RBI grade B DEPR examination and right now we are running a flat 42% off on all the online courses so you just need to use the code triple s 42 to avail the spring season sale offer we provide video lessons live classes PDF notes and practice questions to help you prepare for the examination you can also visit our website to have further information or you can also call on this number or even you can drop us a mail on this particular email id and we will get back to you in case you need any kind of guidance thank you